Well, Alice, I have to say that even I thought your attempt at getting a flying start looked decidedly underhand. You won't get away with that sort of thing when we have our competition, I can tell you. Right, he's written three bestsellers, he's toured the world, and he's shared his unique skills with hundreds of thousands of people. His admirers include Her Majesty the Queen, and he's arguably the most famous horse trainer on the circuit. I'm talking, of course, about Monty Roberts, and Horse Tales caught up with him on one of his recent visits to the UK. Monty Roberts calls himself the man who listens to horses and claims to be able to get an unbroken horse to accept a saddle and rider in an average of just 30 minutes. Thank you, Grant. So, this is Saturday. Hello, Saturday. I hope to cause that horse not only to accept its first saddle and first rider, but to accept me, to join up with me, to walk with me, to trust me, to allow me to do things that have never happened to this horse before. After about five laps... Working inside a round pen and using a system of advance and retreat that he calls join up, Monty's method encourages the horse and its trainer to develop from the outset a bond based on kindness, communication and trust. And when I turn him around now, watch the ear on my side. Well, I've identified approximately 175 gestures, and it's not a language of sounds, but a language of gestures. This means one thing, this is totally different, that's very different, and this is exactly the opposite. Open hand, he moves away. When I close my hand, my fingers down, I can stop him like that. And as I move him on, drop his head. He's not eating grass, he's dropping his head. Horses don't have hands and they don't have fingers, but cats do. And when the cat does this, it means to a horse, get out of here, go away. And when you do this, it's less intrusive. It's about 10 minutes into the demonstration, and already the horse, who Monty has christened Saturday, is responding to the gestures. Every horse knows his own language, and this is a universal language, so it works with every horse. And if it doesn't, I've got it wrong. It's the human's obligation to find the language of the horse and deal with the horse in the absence of violence. It's not the obligation of the horse to learn our language. When I get a step like that, I'll reward him. Just reward him and walk away. Join up and follow up is what I'm after. It is incredible how quickly I can cause the horse to want to be with me. And I am never bored with how these horses respond to me. It's wonderful every time. Watch now. He thought about going away, and I can draw him back. Good. Now I can snap my line on. I hope the horse doesn't buck with my rider. I hope the horse doesn't kick me and things like that. And if I can get trust, you're going to see this horse love to be with me. If I fail to do that, I'll be very disappointed. It's time then to introduce the saddle, and Saturday is encouraged to run around the pen and get used to the strange feeling of something on his back. Are you going to buck it off? I might buck it off, Mr. Roberts. My name is Saturday, and it's tickling. So I'm going to buck it off. About 65% of the horses that I start by this method will buck sort of like Saturday is now. Yeah, a little bit slippy in here, Saturday. But as he goes now, he's going to want to come back to me. They're flight animals. There cannot be a bad horse born. It's the circumstances and the environment that create bad horses. We are the problem. I'm going to ask Saturday to make a right turn now. And we're going to get it. Not very pretty, but we got a right turn. And now a left one. A little bit better. I don't have any invention here. This is God's creation. It's only working with the natural impulses of the horse. Finally, after little more than 20 minutes in the pen, it's time to see if Saturday will accept a rider on his back. So there's the first weight carried by Saturday for his life. Now we'll see if Grant can sit up on Saturday. And this is not for amateurs to do. People who ride a horse for the first time 
should know how to ride a horse if they want a buck. Grant is properly equipped and has had the experience of riding horses that buck before. And after successful trips, three or four or five, then lesser experienced persons can do it. I'm going to take the line off now and just move Saturday a little bit here and see if he is going to accept a predator up on his back for the first time in his life. A lot to ask of a young horse and not an easy thing for him to accept. But accept it he has and incredibly in the space of just 30 minutes Monty has bought an almost entirely unhandled three-year-old straight from the field, had it approach him in the ring, follow him around without a lead rope and finally and most remarkably of all to allow a saddle on his back and to carry a rider in both directions around the pen. I don't disapprove of the way everybody breaks horses at all. And if you can show me a better way than mine, it'll be my way tomorrow. Well, miraculously, Simon and I have survived our mounted exploits. And Simon, I have to say, you're coming along so well, I don't think it's going to be long before you end up at the start of one of those charity races. And looking at the rest of the jockeys, I think it's not going to be long before you're winning one of them, as long as I'm not in it, of course. That's all we've got time for for Horse Tales. I hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.